it's your girl Mary Kay coming to you with a pretty cool video today. I am setting out to be a little bit more transparent with you guys with what I'm doing, some of the things I'm looking forward to, what's going on in my life, because I care about what's going on in y'all life. So I was like, well, maybe they care about what's going on in my life. I don't know. I have in some spring twists right now. I'm going to be unraveling them so you guys can see the unravel. These are the red ones. I'm also going to be doing my makeup and my nails. Y'all gonna be like, I've been wasting so much money. I'm going to be discussing my 2020 goals in hopes to encourage other people to just sit down and think about what it is that you want to do, where you see your life headed, where you want to see your life going. I learned a long time ago that when you write things down, you make it really plain, place it on your wall or your refrigerator or something. Something that you'll always look at. So write down your goals, really focus, take like, you know, 30 minutes out of your day to really sit down with yourself and think about where, hold on y'all, I focus. Okay, think about where you see your life and where you want to see your life and the steps you need to take to get there. That's usually the part that people forget. And if that's the part that you struggle with, that's where you reach out to mentors. And you say, hey, you know, this is what I'm doing. Maybe someone who has done the same thing as you. And everybody's not going to provide you with the pearls that they've learned along the way. So just know that. But some people will. It just is what it is. Some people won't, some people will. Find someone who will. Or you just do research and grind it out on your own, shoot, you know? You know? I'm going to be sharing with you some of the goals that I have for myself for 2020, long term and short term. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff so much. What I'm gonna be using for this eye look, the bulk of the eye look is going to be from Essence. This is the Essence line. And this is their Hola Rio. My long term goal for YouTube, as far as subscribers, I would like to reach 200K, 200K. <laughs> I wanna reach 200,000 subscribers in 2020. So 200K, that's my long-term goal for subscribers in 2020. I appreciate everybody who takes the time out to subscribe. I know if you're not a vlogger or a YouTuber, it's sometimes it's hard to understand why certain things are so important, why likes and comments and shares are so important. A lot of people are like, oh, y'all be doing so much for likes. It's not, <laughs> it's so much that goes into the algorithms of YouTube. The first 12 hours, you better be popping in your first 12 hours. When you put up a video, you want your show enough followers to jump on it because that first 12 hours matters. It matters so much to the algorithms of YouTube. So, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just made differently. I want subscribers, of course, but I want the real deal subscribers, the ones who really fool with me. I don't want fake subscribers. I feel differently about that than some people. Some people just want the numbers. I want the relationships. So, you know, it is what it is. My short term goal is 140K by June. No matter how much my platform gets, I don't ever wanna lose the authenticity of my channel and my subbies, my family. Like, I don't ever wanna lose that. So that's one of those unspoken goals. I wanna keep the culture of my channel the way that it is. Cause y'all are the bomb. And I wanna keep that. I have a very positive channel, like positive people. Of course you got your trolls. When you get to a certain point, they just come out. They wanna be ugly. I let them be ugly. <laughs> as far as subscribers, that is my goal. I want to um, upgrade specifically my lighting and my camera. Those are the two things that I'm gonna be upgrading this year. Ooh. Also, starting off once a month, 
I'm going to be filming clients. Cause y'all listen, let me tell you, it is so rough sometimes having to do your hair all the time. All the time, honey. All the time. My nerves. And y'all know I do cute hairstyles, so I don't be wanting to change it. Hold on, I gotta concentrate. Hold on. Y'all, this part is so annoying. And I be seeing makeup gurus do this part and they be like, <laughs> child, they be getting it. I be like, how you do it like that? Oh, I didn't show y'all. This is Juvia's place too. Foundation, come on. There we go. Okay, <laughs> my goals for Instagram are a little bit different because if anybody else knows this, but Instagram is so hard. Like it is hard to build up for some reason. <laughs> Instagram is like, uh-uh, honey. You think like you putting out content and you just know you popping, honey. <laughs> you think that you're doing so well. <laughs> You posting content, you getting comments, you getting likes, the whole nine. People watching your stories and then you look and it's gone up like a hundred, a hundred people. I'll be like, now wait a minute, honey. Wait a minute. You, you ain't supposed to do that. So when you are grinding the long way, like you're not doing, you know, you're not buying those, um, marketing packages where they give you a whole bunch of robot accounts and all that crazy stuff when you're doing it like you yourself especially when you don't have a team when you got a team honey oh teamwork made the dream work i am not your superwoman honey i'm about to get me a team and we're gonna do this together because my nerves be shot honey so my goal for instagram is my long-term goal for 2020 is to reach 40k so that's a serious goal i'm hoping to reach it Ooh, honey we snatched that too much uh-uh i don't want that nose there we go there we go there we go there we go sometimes you can snatch your nose a little bit too much i don't i'm not doing that i like my nose i'm just defining it okay if you are not following me please do if you enjoy my content, just go ahead and follow. Tell your friends and family, like I'm really out here gold digging. I'm doing this like literally all by myself. So help us us out. <laughs> Those are my main YouTube and um, Instagram goals as far as numbers go. Now I do have other goals. As you guys know, I have partnered with Toil Trust, which is the, the spring twist that I have and now that I'm about to unravel. Those are Toil Trust spring twist, Toil Trust spring twist. And we have a group, Toil Trust Everyday Benefits on Facebook where we give exclusive discounts, y'all. Exclusive to group members. And I'm really excited about that. Another goal of mine is to reach 5,000 members by March. I would love for you to be a part of the group. We have a great time. It's positive. It's a safe space for people to post their slays, ask questions. How do I do this? How do I do that? Those type of things. And it's a judgment free zone. Like I don't, we, I don't go for any of that negativity and talking bad about each other. And uh, -uh. it's not one of those groups. It's really a safe space. The group is already growing wonderfully. We have a wonderful community of people a well of knowledge um, in regards to crochet braids. Um, our members are knowledgeable. The admin team is knowledgeable. Okay, I really just wanted to show you the eyes and the bulk of the face 
this is basically the bulk. I'm gonna go on and just put a little glow on. Um, but I want to get to the hair and the nails. So. All right, you guys, so I'm all finished. I just did like a chocolate brown lip liner with um, pink on the inside. Some I got from the hair store, I guarantee it. Okay, and these lashes are um, mini freaky from Lash Barb Cosmetics. Yeah, their lashes are the ball. So I'm going to ooh, unravel. I just put my hair in a ponytail and wore, this is how I sleep at night, just so you guys know. That's how I maintain these beauties. I unravel quick, honey, because I know y'all want to see. It's, this is so cute. This is so cute. I love this style. It's so easy. It's so cute. I mean, it, this is a no-brainer. This is a no-brainer. And I'm going to be trying out um, the 8-inch very soon. This is 6 inches. So... Yeah, this is cute. This is cute. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and unravel these um, before we do the nails, just cause it just makes more sense that way. And the unravel is so easy. They unravel beautifully. So this is gonna be cute. It's gonna be cute. But I, I have a good feeling. I think, I think we, can reach these goals, you guys. I really, really do. I'm super excited about this unravel. And my group members was like, so when you gonna unravel, huh? When can we expect? <laughs> All right, you guys, so this is what the hair is looking like. You guys, this color is the bomb. It's so bouncy, so full. I love this. This is like so right up my alley. And I kept these because I wanted to keep the jewels in. So I just unraveled the bottoms of these and kept the top. I'm about to start on my nails. Once I finish everything, I'll show you the full look. Okay, let's get to these nails. What you'll need is a nail file, nail glue, a buffer in your nails. Now these nails I got from Amazon and they come with their own little stickies. I would not suggest that you use those. So these are the nails. They're coffin shaped, very cost friendly. What you're going to do, buff like any, if you have nail polish off, you wanna get that off. I don't have anything on, but no lotion, no water. Find which nail best fits. You want to just make sure it can just slide on there well. So I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can see how to do it and I'm gonna come back with everything. Mm -hmm. 